Welcome to Dano on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We're moved into a brand new year, 2023. Welcomes you. Uh, and we have, as our first guest for this year, I can't think of a better person than to feature this beautiful girl next to me, and it's Arjuna. Hi, Danu. Hi. You have <laughs> extended, your, extended your stay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> You came and you were like, oh, it's a little bit, little, little, yeah, little bit it's, longer. Yeah, it's never enough in this beautiful island. It's just a, a so. little, little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, a little bit longer. <laughs> but it was an extension, yeah. so but it's I good. did it. Thank yeah, you. It's good. Yeah. So you, we have all like, now you've just become a Lankan girl. Pretty much. Yeah. Have picked up on a few words as well. Hurry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today I taught her something. Uh, how you define a bootylicious booty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting my yes. vocabulary right and Other singalese. one is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Other one is very wrong. <laughs> Other one is cancelled. Sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> uh, but um, that's because her company these days have been tragic with Viran's, uh, Viran and his BJP makeup has taught her the bad uh, words first. Vivi is my sister. I know, she's your sister. My Aki. Aki. <laughs> yes. <laughs> promote her higher. <laughs> very soon, auntie. Just to let you know that um, we're here at this beautiful place called the Library at Cinnamon Lakeside. You have been hosted at the Cinnamon Hotels. How, have you, how has it been? Oh, mm. Such comfortable stay and the hospitality is commendable. So I, I, that's why I don't feel like leaving. Oh, that, oh, Thanks to Cinnamon. That's another reason to stay. <laughs> yes. uh, so let's go back in time. You have graced the covers of many magazines. We have not seen her. You can always just Google this name called Archana. <laughs> and also you have also walked the ramp for some phenomenal <laughs> designers. Yes. And there's something about a model and there's something about a supermodel. Sometimes models just end up staying in your mind and you end up staying in people's mind. But it has been not an easy drive for you to come here. Yes. For those who are searching for an inspiration for this year, 2023 should be the year. What would you say? What has been the biggest challenge in your life? Ah. Uh. I think for me, uh, in terms of career or just like life, <clears throat> biggest challenge was in my childhood when I lost dad um, at the age of 16. Uh, he died because of liver cirrhosis and uh, yeah, so I've been, it, it has been really hard on me since I'm the only child. So, you know, I was looking after my mom and I'm still looking after her. So that has been a challenge and then just challenges of, of daily lives and you know, like the the hustle and bustle and everything. I think the biggest challenge lately, we all agree, was COVID oh. because the world stopped and we were just figuring out, like, are we going to, of course, everyone with a positive mind, are we going to get over oh. this? So, you know, I didn't, like, none of us had, like, work since I'm a freelancer, I am my own boss. Um, it, it was very difficult for me to like and even start thinking to work. If, mm. Is it safe to work? Because you know how populated India is. Yeah. Yes. And then I'm coming back home to my mom and mm. I don't want to be carrying anything and, you know, giving Correct. it to her. So it was very difficult for me, especially in the year 2020, to take up any work just and just because I, I was scared to lose my mom thinking that it would be me who was going to give her COVID. So I never took up any work. Uh, but at the end of the year, you know, things started like slowly dying down they came out with the vaccination and everything and we started taking the vaccination so uh, yeah I, I think begin ending of 2021 was when i actually started taking up work again and uh, now it's 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 back on track so mm. you know but um so mm. i did have an on date with danu and we were not able to connect so much and then the reason why i wanted her here to, to speak to us is about how do you come out of a dark place and bring in so much of light. Uh, you said a line to me when you spoke to me one night and that really stayed in my head. We were left with nothing and we were left with not even the house that we were living in. But yeah. that is just a full stop. How do you make it a comma and continue your life? Well, uh, because my dad was an alcoholic and he would do, at that time, because he was so addicted to it, he would do anything. He sold the house that we were in for money to drink because my mom was not giving him any more money because we had no money. So she had stopped working and my dad lost his job because he, he used to go drunk to work. Mm. And uh, obviously, you know, they That's had to that. take action. So being so desperate, he, he sold the house and the court gave us like 
10 days to vacate and my dad wasn't alive at that time we only got to know like three years down the line that he had like signed it off like our property and the court gave us 10 days to uh, pack everything and like just leave so it was like a it was a very big shock I still remember like mom and me uh, lived in my car for like um, and, my, and my dog at that time we, we lived we put everything in storage whatever we could and we lived in the car for about two three days until like you know some out. someone um, gave us a place to stay for a little bit and slowly 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 like you know I I just could only think of living for the day I, I couldn't see the future I couldn't see what I'm going to do all I needed to do was like earn for the for the next day like even to eat one meal so um, you know I used to take up like small jobs like really small jobs like holding pamphlets on roads and like you know handing it over to like whoever walks oh. by which was which used to pay me like 200 Indian rupees back then for the entire day mm. um, but at least we would make a meal yeah. out of it that is true yeah uh, my mom asked me not to sell the car because uh, it, it was literally the only house we had at that time so we hustled 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 like that for a few days and then I think the universe just sent me um, someone called me from Bombay and asked me to audition for Lakme Fashion Week and that happened uh, they got my tickets and they paid for everything because they believed in me so I think there's someone out there who just even if they have a drop in the ocean of belief in you and they see you you know going places getting getting to where you are and you deliver it I think that's what made me who I am today yeah yeah so that's amazing <laughs> uh, I know it's, it's it, it, the reason is it inspired me so much because when you see someone looking so phenomenal and so grand you don't see beyond that but something is is what made them get there that's why I wanted to ask this question we'll come back with more because Working in India is not an easy task. Oh, especially with the amount of people that we have. Yes. The population one of the highest in the world. So, yeah. We will speak about opportunities when we do come back. Do stick around. It's done on fire for the brand new year. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's Dano on Fire. We are starting off a brand new year with this beautiful next to me. Uh, we are here at Cinnamon Lake side. Um, you know, they have some, it's, it's, it's this one of those very like you calm, you relax and you just... It's quite a... It's one of those very... Very like, um, you know, gentleman. Yes, yes. I feel underdressed, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, wanted to speak to you about something. Um, the competition in India is really tough. For example, if you miss a call, I think you miss the chance. Yes. <laughs> That's it. A hundred percent. But I was just having a bath. Yeah, we, sorry, we moved on. Yeah, it's just happened to me many times. <laughs> really? Because, yeah, they, the thing is, like, I don't blame the production or the agencies that, like, call me for, for a job and I'm not available. Or I'm shooting at that day for something yes. else and I can't, like, take a call and I miss. And, and then I see my messages and then when I call them back and they're like, you know what, like we had to finalize it today itself. Mm. So, you know, like so we, we, we tried wait. calling you, but we couldn't wait because we yeah. had to do the tickets and stay and, you know, like everything. So I'm like, okay, but it has happened and it yeah. is bound to happen. Yeah. yeah, but that's what happens. And that means people are so efficient and there's so much more. Um, I remember this one line, a model who came down with you 
told me, uh, when I'm on work mode, I'm on work mode. I don't, I do not. Yeah, get distracted. Distracted yeah. at all. Yeah. How does that work? Tell me with all the all the managers you've worked with, all the choreographers you've worked with, who is really that type <coughs> of person who is like, time is time. So I've worked with a lot of choreographers from India, New York, um, Dubai, uh, Sri Lanka, and uh, the toughest and the most like you know power and like dedicated to their job on on set is uh, uh, Aparna Bell from Ooh. Delhi and uh, Lubna Adams from Mumbai. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm literally looking at my teacher, mm. <laughs> you know, so um, I get scared when they are on set and when they are like teaching us a choreography or a rehearsals because we do one small mistake and that's it and we have to redo the entire Shh. show of the rehearsals and so that one person who made the mistake is going to feel like a dog yeah yeah because we all are like you know yeah. my god we were this close to finishing our rehearsals and what did you do, and what did you do? <laughs> like yeah so but that's how um, that's how they are over there they are and like very yeah so i uh, remember this one time we were doing um, a show for Manish Malhotra mm. and the show was supposed to start at like uh, 8 p.m. We finished rehearsals at 6. And you were not dressed still? No dress, no, no makeup, hair, nothing. nothing. But she did not leave, she did not care. Her rehearsals had to, to be, be perfect. perfect to the T. And then how fast did you all dress? <laughs> I, I think God saved us. <laughs> We are going for the natural look, the natural sweaty yeah, look. Yeah, the natural sweaty and a little bit of glass. <laughs> Just go, go. Just see the dress, not them. Cue music. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, w okay, in our country, fashion has always been there. We've worked with different type of textures, hand loom. But we've never hit that, you know, that rocket peak. There's a reason why, because the smaller sector of people that actually look out for very handcrafted fashion. And, okay. and also we have a very small audience that we're working with. We have so much of talent, no place to sell everything. Uh, reference to what we will say as closer to our island home is India and there we s saw this movie fashion and mm. everyone thought, oh my god, this is what a model's life looked like. <laughs> but the lead story was inspired by a true model. Okay. Uh, was it of where she lost her mind a little bit? I think, I think that I, d I don't know personally because uh, you when way I, I've been, I've been in this three. industry for almost, I started in the year 2008, so I've been in this industry for more than a decade and uh, I haven't found anyone like that. You mm. know, I've, w I've, I've worked from Meher Jessia, I've worked with like, you know, Deepika and Anushka Sharma, I've like done shows with them and everything. but. I didn't see this. I also think, you know, Bollywood needs a lot of drama. So they kind of like accentuate the little Every things. Every bit of it. <laughs> yeah. So to just make it all the more like, mm. wow, wow, does it like really happen? <laughs> God, like, can you actually lose it, your mind? Yeah. Can you lose your mind? And yeah. can you, but I think, you know, honestly speaking, even a nine to five job, people lose your minds. So, you know, our industry, the, the fashion, the cinema, the more uh, entertainment industry has a more wider range of like exposure to this. So mm. that's where we are like, I think kind of like scrutinized more. and blamed that, you know, we are like this. Mm. I, I, I don't have an answer to that, honestly. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, this whole story <laughs> and the perception of a model uh, coming from, coming from a country that has a lot of cultural, all of these barriers are still there as much as people, India has modernized and people are thinking so big. Yes. There's also a sector. How have they seen a different side of India that's booming and they're very confident about what they wear, they're not falling into that square that they're made to be in? I think it was all the exposure of the internet and of, of late, the, the 10 years of, mm. of, of Facebook and now Instagram and, and you know, uh, just basically what you what you find on the web has has given all of them a wider perspective of what's happening in the world otherwise they were like very like in a cluster mm. just living in a bubble and not really trying to find out what happens in the world outside so i think that has definitely made their their minds more inquisitive and uh, yeah and then we have like tiktok mm. which is now banned in, in my country <laughs> but that that definitely gave everyone to 
to start acting for themselves yeah. and they were like you know they're having this many views mm. and like a small person from a tiniest village like is being seen, seen by the globe mm. not just one country so yeah. you know that's that's how i think like people have started embracing embracing the, yeah yeah uh, brilliant. Uh, we have to get into a break because we have a pizza sitting in front of us and there's another one in the oven that's also smelling great. Cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's cooking. Uh, we're going to come back with Modu Sukhrani. Welcome back to the show, our final segment with this beautiful girl, Archana. So before she cruises off to India, I need to ask you, how many languages do you speak? So I am not well versed with being multilingual on speaking, but I am well versed being multilingual on understanding. Uh -huh. so, yeah. so my mother tongue is Konkani, my father was a Tamilian. Um, what, what is Konkani? Konkani is from the Konkan region, so Goans are Konkani speaking basically. Each state has their own language and in India. And how does it sound? Like Hindi or like Tamil? None. It sounds a little bit more Maharashtrian. Just speak to me in that. The Zinav Kale. Oh. So it's, it's, it's got, it's... Uh, you ask what you want me to say? No, I ask what's your name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tanampan Bose. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to okay. be Kim K. Yeah, yeah. Like so that. it is different, but it is the coastal language of the Konkan region. Okay. Um, Goans speak Konkani throughout, but also in, in the state that I'm born in, Karnataka, we have a coastal area called Mangalore. I know Mangalore. Yes, that's where mum is from. Ah, so and they speak Tamil there? They speak Konkani. Ah, Konkani. Yeah, okay. so that's... Uh, oh my god, I was in Mangalore. It's like okay. literally mm. like... Like, I don't know, going out of Colombo. Yeah, literally yeah. going going out of Colombo <laughs> and going back to Colombo. <laughs> and I was like, oh, where, how can I find a plug point? I wanted a multi socket. Oh, it, no, it, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I meant it from well, a beach, from a beach <laughs> town to a, to a, from a beach city to a beach uh, city. But I didn't like Mangalore so much. It was just, There's nothing much to do. Yeah. yeah. But I had a, there was a beautiful wedding. It was uh, beautiful yeah. at a beach yeah. house, everyone wore white. Yeah. It was very nice. It's nice. Yeah. So, okay, but um, she can speak Tamil. I've spoken to her in Tamil because mm. of that, it's kind of cool. <laughs> um, now, what plans for the year 2023? So, I've just moved to Goa mm. <laughs> this year. From Bangalore? Yeah, from Bangalore. Do you, why? Uh, I'm honestly fed up of being, uh, of staying, uh, yeah, of staying in a metro. Um, I just can't take city life anymore. I want the simple life. I want to listen to the birds and I do not want to wake up with like traffic and like people yelling and abusing the shit out of each other. So I, I'm a very anxious person so I needed to calm myself down and I, Goa was the only option that came in front of my hmm. head hmm. and I drove down to Goa. That's it. Yeah. Just, just That's it. Just, just pack my bags and I'm like, I'm out of here. <laughs> and how is life in Goa? Goa is so peaceful. It's very much like Ikadua? Very much like, yeah. So yeah. I live in a very small village in Goa. Oh wow! So I'm not even in the city in Goa. You have gone to the birds. Yeah, I have gone to <laughs> all the birds. <laughs> yes, I have literally gone to the birds, and the uh, monkeys and the peacocks and snakes and like you know wow. little wild animals. So if somebody needs to get you for work, they have to fly you. Wherever. Yeah, from Goa. Uh, do they do shows in Goa? They do. Yes, they do. They do what? a lot of shoots. They a lot of lot of shows. Okay. So it's 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 pretty good. Amazing. Um, so you and your mom, you all are the two people in the family. Is the dog still there? No, I I, I lost them. Yeah. 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 Any dogs in the upcoming years? No, but I do have two cats because this one stray cat came and littered, you know, her kittens in my house, and I wanted to get them all adopted, but only two got adopted, and. I, I just couldn't let the other two out in the streets. Mm. Thank God she stopped with so four. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know, they go at it. Yeah, like she was a feral, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how it is, right? So we, we've kept them. Their names are Summer and Snow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Now, um, I have to ask you this. You came here for a show. You saw the designs and the designers. Um, in terms of a fashion model walking so many brands. What did you feel about 
the show here or your time on the ramp here? I was definitely given a beautiful opportunity by Indy to you know, wear her finale garment for the show. So that itself puts a lot of weight on a model. But you always do either closing or opening, that's it, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like to talk about it. But, oh, but it's kind of yeah. cool though. If somebody tells you you have to only be like one of the models, would you say no for the show? No. Oh. No. But it, but they know, they know your work. The <coughs> yeah. fact that you have worked yeah. so hard and yeah. got here. Yes, you yeah. know it. So I guess, um, you know, your work speaks for itself. But uh, yeah, so Indy got me down, and uh, she believed that you know I could make her garment come to life, and I hope I did the justice for it. Since you were there, uh, oh. the audience watching. Watching me sashay down the runway. I've just seen it in slow motion in my mind. It's <laughs> always there. I uh, have to ask you, this typical body that a model needs, Right. Uh, is it hard to, like, you know, always be that size? Have you ever so fluctuated? I have definitely fluctuated and I like my size now that I am how I look now when compared to how I was looking a decade ago because I was just sticks and bones so I couldn't carry, like, the really, like, Majestic, majestic outfits. and powerful outfits. So mm. you know, you really need broad shoulders. You need to at least, you know, train yourself in weight training because the garments that we have, especially couture garments, are like easily 25, 30, 35, 40 yes. kilos. So you know, and it's not a joke yeah. to carry that up and down. <laughs> yeah, with 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 the jewelry that comes yeah. on you. So you know, like yeah. So it, it's definitely a bit of a hassle and and challenge. But I guess a model's body is. Uh, you just need to look fit. You need to look great on a garment, no matter like what which size that either four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now you know diversity is like all over. Yeah. You know, body positivity is all over. Like a, a, a woman or a man who is like size 20, 22 uh, is definitely pulling off some great campaigns, not just in India, but you know, throughout the world. So I'm you know, wearing 22 now. Yeah, I'm see, 22 see, right see. Yeah. So I think like anyone who has that confidence in themselves to see, this is what I'm talking about. This confidence is definitely a okay. winner. I'm yeah. just trying to tell Charit <laughs> over there. That this confidence, Charit, not that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this confidence, definitely. So yes, um, as long as you have the confidence, I feel like as of this generation, it's definitely changed the, the market uh, in the world for how a model needs to be looked in terms of size. Amazing. On that note, we do wrap things up. I have to also tell yes. you, I think I'm having the last Christmas Look at pudding. this. I know, I'm having a Christmas pudding. I think you have something big. I have something big. <laughs> <laughs> big is always better. So let's dig in. There you go. On the note, we need to wrap things up on the show. Thank you for joining us today on uh, Dano on Fire. You dig in. We'll see you soon.